Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Adventures with Clange, Cooking with Ange. Who is the Ange of Clange? <laughs> Claude love it, loves it when I say that to you. The Ange of Clange. So hopefully you can see what's going on a little bit there. I don't know why it's not going further down for you. There you go, that's a bit better. And I'm just going to start off Facebook as well and hello Facebook hello YouTube hello Facebook welcome 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 so apart from the prawns we did the other week this is the first one we're actually making with fish and we've got um bassa I think this is let me just check yep yeah, bassa fillets so bassa fillets this says it's responsibly sourced, so that's always good. So, just bassa fillets, loving it. Who have we got on so far? Say hello. We've got two people, say hello. Let's have a look. Hi, Sharon. Auntie Sharon. Hey, Yelin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, today, we are making fish a la minere. Hey Elisa, that's fish a la manere. So, as I was just saying, we've not done many fishy ones so far. So this is one of the first fishy ones that we're doing. And I'm a little bit excited. I need to get rid of that water. Um, me and Claude love fish, obviously. Um, <laughs> dirty bitches. Um, <laughs> Um, so we love fish, we really do, and we haven't really had enough of it since we've been doing gusto, really. So it's quite nice to be able to do a fish one. And I'm on my own again today. So instructions: first things first, boil a kettle, cut the potato skins on into large bite-sized pieces. Nice and easy. Just randomly getting clawed, laughing in the background. I think this is going to make the mash part of it. Are you Linda? Are you Charlotte? Are you Bridie? No sign of my mum and dad yet. Are you Roz? So large spike sized pieces. All good. Oh, I say. <laughs> Block your ears, Roz. <laughs> what, because we like fish? <laughs> I don't know. You lot's got dirty minds. Auntie Sharon, with your dirty minds. an easy easy job look at this I think this one's gonna be relatively easy to cook tonight I think it's gonna take a little bit of time because we've got all the boiling and everything are you mum so I don't know if you've all seen but as we said last night we went to donate a load of food to the, the local place down the road that's feeding the hungry at the moment and feeding the people that can't really afford to eat and i found out a little bit more about them today or well, it's not us with the dirty minds it's not it is you with the dirty minds we ain't got dirty minds we're pure and innocent us um anyway as i was saying um so we went down to the local place today with loads of loads of food and um and bits and bobs and I even brought a cake for the women that work there because it's all well and good us making sure the hungry people are okay, but they're they're actually giving their time to make this stuff, you know? They're actually giving their time and spending their days 
down there cooking for the hungry and the people that can't afford a lot of food at the moment. And I found out that you can actually get what they do is they do give away some food for free, but they also um, sell a main meal for one pound and you can have dessert for 50p. So you can have a two course meal there for one pound fifty. And then what they do, once you've paid the one pound, you can actually get a tub of soup to take back for the evenings or a tub of stew or something really quick and easy that you can just sort of heat up in a pot quickly. And I'm very, very, um, I'm starting to shut the, very proud of Ange for going out, you know, and doing that today. Um, She's also pissed off because I gave the cake away. I wouldn't have been as that generous for the cake, but... It was a red me. velvet cake as well. It was a red Which... velvet cake. No, but you know, genuinely, you know, honestly, it's it's really really nice thing to be able to help out and help people that aren't as fortunate as us, really. So pay it forward. And uh, what's the week this week? It's random acts of kindness this week. Yep. Yeah. Random acts of kindness. So this Baptism. was um, <laughs> this was telling me to peel the garlic. Thanks for that, Claude. So chop the potatoes, peel garlic cloves to a pot of plenty of boiling water with a pinch of salt and bring to the boil. La la. The salt. Probably made my head wet, bitch but sits. Um <laughs> now Kindness. cup of tea. Well we had to give the cake away really, didn't we? We are trying to lose a bit of weight to be honest. Anything, don't we? Mm. You know, and if we eat anything, we're just moaned at and told we're wasting we're wasting perfectly good gusto on eating food. Or we shouldn't be eating food. Mm. The other thing we get told a lot, we shouldn't be eating. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I do love a good cup of tea. It's one of my favourite things in the world. So, what every, what is everybody else having for dinner tonight? A cup as big as my head, I know. So, next thing, add three tablespoons of flour to a large plate with a big pinch of salt and pepper. Oops. I always add too much flour. This is just to coat the fish, I reckon. Well, I pretty much know it's to coat the fish. Uh, yeah, Gusto is food, but it's uh, healthy food, isn't it? Plenty of salt and pepper. So I'm just going to mix that in a little bit. Spread it out. Press the butter fillets into the flour so they are evenly coating, shaking off any excess. Rightio. I'm just reading ahead a little bit, people. So, let's get into these bassers. I do sometimes find with the gustos that what we've got, crispy chilli beef and coriander noodles... What what we're having tomorrow? That's <laughs> so what we're having tomorrow, Roz. The boobs are almost in my drink. Pork loins, new potatoes and veg tonight. Lovely. Loving it, Bridie. You're on it now, aren't you? With all your nice food. I'm 
Basta fillet. the storage while I'm waiting for the other bassa fillet. Two bassa fillets. off the excess all good chuck that away looks so nice in the picture i'm not sure if it'll look that good when i'll cook it though probably not <laughs> although you're not a bad cook Ros. karen reed hello hot soapy water in the bowl because obviously my mum has a go at me about having washing up liquid in the bowl So it's now telling me to rinse the spinach, the spinach, as my auntie Sharon would probably call it because she's posh, the spinach. Nice good rinse. That's going to end up in with the potatoes, I know it. <laughs> Swearing again, Sharon. And you say it's me that's the bad influence. I haven't swore once yet. You're a good girl. I'm a good girl. Right, it says, once the potatoes are fork tender, add the washed spinach to the pot and cook for a further one minute or until the spinach is wilted. Drain everything and return to the pot and, and mash it, basically. So, while that's doing that, I'm just going to move my fish over to here, out the way, because I'm going to need my chopping board again. And I need to chop the lemons into quarters. Claude, can you turn that down a bit? Claude's got the TV up so loud. Really loud. Wowzer. All I can hear is zombies going. Aah! And then her shooting. It's a bit much. So the potatoes are on the go. Are you, Lisa? Where's my mum gone? She's quiet tonight. And my dad's quiet tonight. I bet they just put it on just to show their ear and actually they're just watching TV. Probably watching Coronation. Probably watching Coronation Street or something boring, you know. I'm also going to chop the parsley so I'm ready for everything here because fish cooks quite quick. So once you start cooking fish, you kind of got to have everything else pretty much ready to go. Pretty much almost ready anyway. Jubbly jubbly. So the longest cooking thing here is actually the potatoes. And that's going to be the longest thing to actually make as well because you've got all the mashing and everything with that. This is parsley that I'm just chopping. 
So I saw what... What are you having for dinner tonight, Sharon? I saw what Ros was having and I saw what Bridie was having. What's Lynn having? What's Lynn and John having tonight? Enough of the parsley. She's killing zombies, Rose. She's trying to save the world. Yeah, trying to save the world. In my own way. It's my one hour of relaxation after work every day. Uh. Grand Theft Horsey? Are you getting mixed up oh, between, right between Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto, I'm Roz? The Last of Us next, once I've finished my exams. She wants The Last of Us next. I thought you had that already. The second one. Oh. So once she finishes all her exams and her, and her university degree now I have, qualification. Now I have uh, one hour a day while I'm just cooking to play on the PlayStation. The rest of the time I'm spent working full time. And do music stuff, so I kind of <laughs> get one hour zombie killing a day. <laughs> but I'm waiting till I complete my exams later on in the year to qualify to before I get a new game. Got to get crack on. Got to crack on. Get off, asshole! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, right. Rinse the spinach. Got to wait for the potatoes to be fork tender, please, people. <laughs> So Sharon, what have you got for dinner tonight? Come on, Missy. We're all waiting in anticipation. Is it another takeaway? Is that a takeaway? I don't know. Nowhere near yet. So, as I said earlier, tomorrow we do have the crispy chilli beef noodles mm. with coriander. That's going to be good. And is it? Is, Grand, is Red, Red Redemption made from Rockstar Games? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've already played it, both of them. She's already completed both of those anyway. You haven't decided yet. Okay, take away it is then. <laughs> um, so has any of you got any plans for the weekend? Anything interesting you're doing at the weekends? No? Silence is golden, golden. I know, but people can go out for walks in nice places and do do doorstep drops of food and you know bake us a cake and drop it on our doorstep because i had to give one away today candle making i love candle making it's great fun don't think ashley would agree with that but you know <laughs> he does the bulk of our candle making bless him whereas i do the bulk of making everything else we're a good little team So, yeah. Oh, so nobody's going to drop some cake on our doorstep then on, at the weekend that they've made, no. We did have to give one away today. We did it out of the goodness of our heart. Honest. <laughs> Am I regretting that decision? No. Is Claude regretting that decision? Yes. No. <laughs> So, I am hoping we are allowed to start seeing people again in April. At the latest April. I'd like oh, it to be March. I think we're going to hear about it on Monday. I think there's a plan to let people of six back into each other's households. By April, which would be good. You've got legs, Ross. You can walk it. <laughs> um, 
which would be great. I can't wait to go and see my parents and have a bit of a, a drinking session see. and games night. Just to see the sea, and and see the sea as well. It's going to be amazing to actually see the sea, because it <sighs> it's hard. You know me, I might end up jumping in it, even in this weather. I do love the sea. It is good. The sea's amazing. I miss it. Rambo's annoying Claude right now, meowing at him because she ain't oh, seen I'm him all day. Something is meowing. That's what he does. <laughs> wow, what sort of friend does that to you, Roz? I don't know. Rambo. Refuses to walk cake to you. <laughs> ah, da, 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 da. So we're just waiting for all of this to sort itself out. We're waiting for the potatoes now. It's like watching paint bloody dry, isn't it? Eh? Hey? Does anybody fancy coming on on online and have a little chat with me? Should we see who's available? Yeah, oh, let's see if we can get Lynn on, shall we? Not met Lynn before, so it'd be quite good to add her to the sh session. See if she comes on. I don't think she's going to accept, bless her. <laughs> oh, it's Dad on Mum's phone. Well, if you were able to add on, Dad, I'd probably add you, mate. Just yeah. for a little chat. Why can't you work it out? Lynn's not accepting anyway. Okay, let's see if we can add my dad. Uh, dad, you need just to make yourself available to come on. That's the problem, darling. Make yourself available and I'll put you on. Him and my mum's now going to have a massive argument. <laughs> about how to make himself available to come on air. Oh, here we go. Here we go, he's done it. Not forever though, Dad, just for a minute. I will kick you off at some point. <laughs> Especially if you start singing. Nobody ask him to sing, please. <laughs> You've got to accept it, Dad. Here we go. And... Hey, your Mum, you all right? You took it off me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you took it off him, Mum, because nobody wants him to sing. <laughs> oh, you want me to sing? No! Oh, I didn't know you wanted me to sing. Oh, there once was a lad called Aladdin, who had an Aladdin's lamp. He stole it off a person. I can't sing the rest no, of No, you can't, Dad. <laughs> Daddy rub, Daddy rub, Daddy rub, Daddy rub. No, Dad, Daddy stop. stop. I'll take you off. So we're making fish a la manere. All right. Sounds fishy to me. It does oh. sound fishy. It is fishy, it's basser. <laughs> Just waiting for the potatoes at the moment. How are you guys Hello, doing? Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Ross. And John. I don't want you. No, you can only. When you're doing it live, you can only have one other person, I think. Oh, can you? Yeah. Yeah. So, how are you guys today? You alright? Yeah, we just took a table down to. Uh, Richard. Richard. Yeah? Table. Yeah, a Debbie big had. table that Debbie had. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. How's he doing? Uh, not too good, but. Hey, uh, yeah, I know, I heard it. Money, what are you two having tonight for dinner? Oh, well, I've cleaned the kitchen all out and I've done my cooker, so your dad cooked me Friday bacon tomatoes. Black pudding and sausages. And uh, I don't know what we're having tonight for tea. Whatever I've got. Hi, Tanya. So, so whatever you've got. 
Oh, that was horrible, Dad. My dad, my dad was arguing with me about what a Welsh rarebit was, everybody. And I told him what a Welsh rarebit was. And he was like, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. And he checked. He wasn't right. It's not often he's right, but he was wrong again. Oh, Listen, who's talking? <laughs> what, Claude? You think it was a rabbit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? Did he think it was a rabbit? <laughs> so my dad the other night made a bit of bread with Branston smeared across the top. Let's put it this way, Angela. I will not be having it again. And then he adds a poached egg on top of that. And then cheese over the top of that, which he grilled. And then beans over the top of that. Oh, it's smooth Branston, so that makes all the difference, people. <laughs> it's disgusting. Well, you can, you can eat that on your own, Dad. We're not making that one or come down. You ain't got a choice. Why? If, you, if I don't put you up, she, you're anti Sharon and put you up. <laughs> oh, jealousy. There's always someone else that will put us up, Mother. Oh, yes. Well, I'd be I like to find egg and pickle sandwiches. You're all weird. You're weird. No, not even that would turn. Who said that? Kelly. You've got good taste, Kelly. Kelly Clements. You know Kelly? What? Yeah, used to be Kelly Gatchel. Went to Brownies in school with her. Oh, right. Oh, right. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Oh, Roz, that sounds disgusting as well. Fish finger, peanut butter and oh, mayo sandwich. Oh, I like that. Fingers fingers yeah, old. Sharon Wilpin put me up, so don't be mean to her, Ange. Right, so now it's saying with these potatoes, once the potatoes are fork tender, add the washed spinach to the pot and cook for a further minute until the spinach is wilted. <laughs> what are you two playing at? <laughs> She's trying to pass me the phone and I won't take it. <laughs> I don't think I've got a big enough pot here, people. <laughs> you, you know who's doing the singing now. The spinach does wilt down, so. She's not right, off, the off. Hello, John. How are you doing, mate? No, I'm you know, I'm I can't wait for you to meet them, man. Oh, Gina did one in the school in me Tommy yesterday. Yeah. Would you like? She got an A plus. <laughs> in flights. He's a sucker. <laughs> Hello, Brody. Oh, so, <laughs> I'm just pushing this spinach down so that it wilts down. Because once it's wilted down, I'll be able to empty it all. And then I'll be able to mash it all together. You are, Dad. I'll get some uh, cauliflower stems in with their cooking. Beautiful. All that flavour. So as you can see, the spinach is now pretty wilted. And I didn't need a bigger pot, people. Hello, Helen. Helen Jane is watching. Helen Jane Hiya, watching. Helen. So. Sharon's going to definitely watch that one. one. The ones that we're cooking together, Dad. I think it's because me and you cooking together is not always a good 
Um, oh, Helen, are you in on Saturday so we can pop round with the phone? Socially distance, of course. Socially distance, of course, like last time. To drop off. Turn you off now. Are you bored now, Mum? Yeah, I want to see what you're cooking. <laughs> Tough. You're going to have to stay on forever now, Mum. Right. Say goodbye to my parents, everyone. <laughs> Say goodbye to my parents. Bye, Mum and Dad. Love you. There we go. That was a bit of an intervention for you all. So I'm just going to drain all this off now because obviously it's it's almost ready to be mash -lashed. How long have got, baby? Uh, ten minutes, if that. back of the pot ready to be mashed <laughs> hot right so I'm just gonna put this over onto that pot now can you see that that place in I'm gonna put this back on here gonna get some oil in that bad boy ready for the fish Sure. so it now says add a knob of butter to these potatoes mash skins and all I usually like a little bit of butter in with my potatoes, so, uh, milk in with my potatoes, so I'm going to add a little bit of milk as well. I know it doesn't say it in the recipe, but I do want a little bit. No, Claude's not doing tomorrow, Mum. No, 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 I don't do cooking. Claude don't cook. Well, I do private cooking. <laughs> she does private cooking, does Claude. Another muscle workout for Ange. And then bingo wings on. Got to sort the bingo wings out. So there's that done. Then it says I add a good bit of salt and pepper. too much because there's already been salt and pepper added to that so a mix 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 so that is our mash for tonight now it does say cover that to keep it hot So that's what I'm doing. So as you can see, this is really hot now. Heat a large pan with vegetable oil. Once hot, add the coated fish, cook on high heat for three to four minutes on each side. Right, here we go. Shake off the excess flour. So 
Turn the heat right up. Uh, your fish is cooked when it turns opaque and flakes easily. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> so that's going quite nicely now. Um, the meal last night, what did we have last night, Claude? That, um, tofu. tofu, yeah, it was really tasty. We gave it an eight. We gave it an eight. Claude really liked it, so did I, so it's yeah, good. Really it was good. Really we do put up a little review on every on the comments on the video once we've once we've eaten. So as you can see at the edge of the fish, I don't know if you can see it from there, but it's starting to turn a little bit opaque already. But I like my fish properly cooked like most people really um right i'm gonna need a plate to transfer this to huh? i like sushi do i i do like sushi it's quite nice i don't know what Claude's talking about we'll just nod and smile like we normally do things we do instead of having normal butter we love this flora plant butter it tastes just like butter and it is really really tasty and it's got no dairy products in it at all it's totally made by a plant so we really like it and it's got a little bit of salt in it as well so we really do like this one highly recommend it now i could be all posh and actually get my fish slice out I could do a Sharon <clears throat> and a fish slice is just wider and it's so it don't flake too quickly. <clears throat> Woo. So as you can see that's getting quite a nice little crisp on it now. Just like that. Uh, I don't know actually what. Let's have a look. It just says 100% naturally sourced plant ingredients. Not saying what plant ingredients, but it's lactose free and vegan. Hardly any sugar in it. Yeah, it's all good. Not a lot of fat, really. Nut. It's, it's definitely not nut it's not got any nutty taste to it whereas most nuts that you get that sort of veg from has a bit of a nutty taste to it I'm going to turn this over again Make sure it's cooked properly on both sides. I know it's definitely cooked on that one because we've just had a piece of break off look just there, which I'm going to taste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
one. It's definitely cooked. Yep. <laughs> Put that on a plate to the side. And that one's definitely cooked as well. Look at that. Looks lovely. And now it says, why that pan's still hot? Add five tablespoons of butter to the pan and heat until melted and slightly foaming. Now, you know me, I don't measure anything. So it's actually got quite a lot of butter in this one. But it's another reason why I like using this plant one because we know it's not gonna cause us too much grief. going to take that off the heat so it doesn't brown too much so although it's nice to caramelize it did say slightly foaming didn't it <laughs> Lynn laughing at Ange not you oh bless you Lynn it's a bit late now darling Maybe we get you on one night next week, maybe. Um, remove from pan heat, add the lemon juice, capers and chopped parsley and stir it all together. This is your caper butter. So now what am I going to do? I've got no bloody space. <laughs> da, da, da. Lemon. Oops. It's all right, I won't have an extra cube of mine. Always sacrifice myself for you, baby. That's my parsley butter. There's not enough butter in that, is there? Maybe a little bit more butter. Not too bad having lots of butter, is it? Really? It's not every night we have lots of butter. That's better. And... And capers. There we go. Lovely jubbly, look at that. That is my caper parsley butter. So I'm going to plate this up now. That fish is still nice and hot, which is good. Does smell good. I 
And then, There is my fish a la minaire with parsley keeper butter. Right, so I'm just going to take this to Claude, then I'll come back and get you. Oh, wait there, I've got your lemon as well. If you want to squeeze some extra lemon on the top. I can see that, Mum, but we're just about to finish, darling. What's up? Lynn's trying to get on, but... Show them round you know. Where the... <coughs> Let me... What have you done? I don't know what I've done. Right. Yeah. There's our little boy. There's our little boy. There's my right. dinner. So... Let's have a little squeeze of that. Lemon. There's Claude for that one. Okay. There's Claude for that one. I'm torn between watching The Man Who Ate His Lover or The Secret Life of Holiday Resort. I've been watching the Secret Life of Holiday Resort. I don't want to see the man that ate his lover. I've been watching all holiday things. Come on, Claude, tasty, okay. tasty. Oh, okay, Let's put a bit of a rambo. He's like, oh, I want fish. Nice. Yeah. Nice and tasty. Yeah. Mm. I'll have to save the rest of it to get the full good potato. So that is fish a la and thank you for joining us YouTube.